Hey everyone, it's Adele and April from Just Say Scrap with Close to My Heart and we are here with our 45th Technique Tuesday. So we are continuing today with our story by Stacy, mm -hmm. and we will be putting the finishing touches on our pages before we throw it together on, on Thursday. Thursday. That's right. Throw it together Thursday is going to be a little early this month because we are going to complete the project and we don't want to wait to the end of the month mm -hmm. to show you the completed project. Yep. All right. So let's get stamping. Okay. So we are now moving on to our embellishing and all of that jazz for our journaling cards that we did last week, last Tuesday. And we are also going to be creating our title card and our Created with Love by card. So if you go through the workbook, we have completed the preparation, step one, step two. We are finishing the creative tip on step three and we are doing step four. So I will read this part when we get to that. So we are first going to finish up step three. As you can see, I have, we have this album, we have, it is the Stripes album. So I've pulled out the colors Willow, Canary, Sorbet, Lagoon, and Sapphire, because I feel they go with the cover the best. So we're gonna be using these today to finish up our stamping. So, Remember your handy dandy Versa mats. I'm gonna flip this over. And we, if you didn't see last week's video or the week before, go check that out because otherwise you might be a little lost as to where we are now. But while we were writing these out last week, we did have stamps ready to go. So remember for acrylic stamps, they come off of the acrylic sheet. So here's one of them. This is the Quotable words for the stories by Stacy, and they ha come off the acrylic sheet. We're gonna put this one on our one by one block because it fits perfectly. And if they're new, remember to make sure that they are not sticky anymore and we season them. So we'll probably go through, stamp a few things, and we might come back and you know do some more. But we're gonna go through it one time. So we're gonna do this a little quicker. We'll because we kind of have a general idea. Um, so just that we did the other videos and we sped them up, we're gonna do that this part. And then we will come back once we've done all of that and maybe embellish a little bit more and move on to the next part. All right, so now we have all of our things initially stamped and as you can still see there are some empty spaces here but we are going to fill those in right now so is this all of them I guess so okay so we definitely I think this one is completely done so you'll be able to pick some of them out also for us it would actually have been easy so stories by Stacy does come with a stamp that is a background stamp so if you have these spaces it'll give you like little things to put in areas like this. But since we don't have that stamp with us currently, we are going to use our other stamps. So, for example, I have, from convention, I have this little Utah. So, if I'm gonna clean this off, we can actually use a lighter stamp or second generation this stamp. So, I'm gonna spray that with my cleaner. Didn't want to really spray it on my other cards. So clean it off with my handy dandy stamp scrubber. And now you can see that's clean. And let me find some. I'll just use one of these because this is where my picture is going to go over. So you're not going to see any ink through it. I just wanted to show you what it looks like to second generation stuff. So most treasured heirlooms. We are going to, or I'm going to, take the... Lagoon ink, like I had it, but I'm going to first stamp it here, so as of my scrap, and then I'm going to second generation it here. Doesn't that look cool? So it fills in a little bit more. So just some things that you can do. And if you saw on this one, I actually used the one stamp here to highlight a word. So you can also do things like that. So, and my mom got out the book for what I was showing. So this one is called Colorful Texture, so it will help you fill in those areas that you need. 
But also, let's say, so I have this love one as well, and I inked it once, right? But I can second generation it on here, and then I can even take the one that's even less and do it again. So you can have those fun things that you're playing with on your sheets. So this is just a way to show you that, you know, even if you think you are done, you might not be, you still have to play around. So that's what we're gonna do in this next section here. All right, so we have now filled in our things with stamps. And if you saw, we actually wanted to redo this one, so we did, which don't be afraid to do that. That is totally okay. And now I wanna go through a little bit and kind of try to see if we want any words to highlight. Um, if you get the background stamp, you will have tons of little things like this to work with. So, what do we want to highlight? So, if you saw, we highlighted some of these words now, which is awesome. And now it's time to get them all together. Right. So now we have the created with love by, which we just need our photograph. Which I'm finding now. Which you're finding now. And this is our title page. So for our title page, step four is complete title and created by card. The title card has three lines to include a title for your album. If applicable to your story, add things like the date or location to this card. Use the additional open space to personalize the card with your Story by Stacy stamp images, an extra photo, or other memorabilia. For the created by card, crop created by card. Crop the picture of you down to two and a half by two and a half square and attach it to the card with adhesive. You can add a little author's note or sign your name to the card as a way to record that you are the person telling this story. So we have our picture, which is gonna go right here, created by, and then when we put it on there, April and I can sign the card. Okay. Um, and what do we got? We wanna do a title here. And what would convention be without Sticky Boy? So there's also a cute stamp on the quotable word that says date. And if we really want, do you know how to mask if you don't? Let's show you. So how you mask a stamp is this is just a post-it note. And we're actually going to just cover this part because our dates are longer than what they're supposed to be or longer than just one date. So, if you see, I'm covering up that part of the stamp that I don't want. I ink it down. That covered all the ink for everything else. I'll show you on the, uh, whoops, scrap paper. <laughs> just throwing things everywhere. Okay, so let's do that again. So I covered it. As you can see, now it's inky, I'll turn it over. If you do this, put it in there, Take this inky thing off and then you'll and it stamps it. And that is Technique Tuesday. Thank you for watching. We hope you enjoyed. And if you have any more questions about this week, let us know. And if you haven't watched the last two weeks, 
Go watch those because then this week will make a lot more sense. Yes. Uh, So we'll see you on Thursday when we throw together our completed album. Yes. And all of our newly stamped things. So, and this stamp is awesome. Yes, it is. So, all right. We'll see you on Thursday. <laughs> oh, it's right in my eyes and sunglasses. Hey everyone, it's Adele and April from Just Say Scrap with Close to My Heart, and we are here.